Hello. Hello. It's us. We're Pamela back. and Amanda. It's not shaky anymore. <laughs> Yay. Sorry if anybody got slightly queasy with that. Nobody complained, but, you know, sorry if it bothered you. We just had to do a few, like... Yep, on the road on the kind road. of things. Sorry, I've got, like, a stitch doing something really weird here, so... <laughs> <sighs> Anywho, hi. Uh, we're back in the shop. We're back. And we're... We just had our Saturday... Stitch up, mm -hmm. stitch and bitch, hanging out <laughs> with our regulars, Kin and Catherine. Catherine, so it was nice to see you again today. Yeah, we nice actually to had a lot of people in today, which is cool. Yeah, I think the weather is nice for stitching because yeah. it's been cloudy and kind of cool and a little rainy. So, and we um, have a sale going on. Yes, we which do. does apply online. Um, you get twenty five percent off any of the patterns as long as they're not already clearance or anything like that. I think most of our clearance stuff is just in store. I don't think it's online yet. Mm -hmm. um, that's the chair, not My her. chair just squeaked. <laughs> just for the record, that noise was her. The chair. Um, I anyway, that earlier I was sitting on this and I kind of scooted a little bit. <laughs> it just keeps making. We have noise. new chairs. Well, new chairs. We got them new from the thrift shop. But yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Apparently they don't get along with my jeans. So, <laughs> so the sale, um, twenty-five percent off all regular price patterns now through Halloween. Mm -hmm. um, you get in the store, you get buy two, get one free clearance items. Um, if you come in the store, they're in the back for the most part in the little baskets that we have in back. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to buy stuff online, use checkout code SCARY. S-C-A-R-Y. Yep. And we'll and put it down below. It and you get 25% off each pattern. Yep. So that's what's going on mm -hmm. mainly in the store. We did get in a few new things that Amanda yeah, will model now. These are... Well, all of our Country Cottage Neal Works Glitter House, or the Glitter Village Glitter House 1 are accounted for, but we're getting more. Yep. So if you'd like some, let us know. We'll hold them for you. Mm -hmm. um, we can also ship them to you. Yes, we can also local. ship them. Um, we have, we ordered Tiny Modernist Santa's House, the new Stitch Along, mm -hmm. um, but they mm -hmm. sent us room one. Not Tiny Modernist. This is our distributor. We're it's not Tiny Modernist. We're working no. directly with Tiny Modernist yeah. to prevent Our distributor this sort of sent thing us. From happening. The second part without sending us the first part so completely useless right now so we're gonna try if and get you want them. it we have them. yeah we have so them just let us know um, um, so we're trying to rectify that situation or directly from tiny modernist instead hopefully that will because we ran into a problem with the haunted house one where we ordered them and we had a few customers who really wanted them but then our distributor just said they were they're out, out of stock, stock constantly and so. have not refilled it I'm not really sure how it works necessarily but it's really frustrating because we wanted to get them out yeah. for people in time for halloween obviously not happening but it's just not going to happen so we're going to try and order directly from tiny modernist and see if that works better than using our distributor instead yep and i've been in contact i actually need to send her another email telling her what we need yeah. and how many of all that kind of stuff so so yeah that's uh that's bear with us <laughs> yeah that's having distributor new stuff. problems we're going to have some new stuff coming in this week hope or this coming week Hopefully, um, some new beginner kits, some new patterns, some ordered or special ordered stuff, some new notions like um, some new hoops and needles hoops and, and that stuff kind of like stuff. That. We've got in more of the petite needles, so if you're mm -hmm. like me and you suddenly realize that petite needles are just the way to go, <laughs> we will have some in the store. Um, um, we are also doing classes Let's starting share. next month. Uh, we will have beginner cross stitch beginner classes. classes. Um, beginner cross stitch will be the first Tuesday of every month. Uh, beginner embroidery classes will be the last Tuesday of every month barring any holidays and stuff like that we'll just adjust and all of our information is on the website or on our Facebook mm -hmm. um, class prices are $35 a person that includes all the it supplies, includes your materials all the supplies that you need to make and the they're thing. two the classes are two hours two hours long so there's probably about an hour of instruction then you get some time just to stitch and we'll be there with you and with everybody else depending on how many people show up yeah and you do need to register yeah. though because we have limited space yeah. in the shop so there are 10 spots um if you look at our facebook or our website it gives you a link to a place to reserve your spot and then we will send you an invoice for the class yeah um the first cross stitch class is going to be on the 6th of november mm -hmm. it's 6 to 8 p.m um and the embroidery class is going to be the 27th of november that's also 6 to 8 p.m so yep generally after work hours and if you want to do lessons but those hours don't work for you we'll still do like one-on-one -on -one kind of lessons yeah. just give just contact us email us or call us and we will we'll work out, we'll work time. It out for you um, um we're also going to have um i don't think we mentioned on our last video did we 
the Halloween event. The trick or treat? Yeah. No, no, no. The the pumpkin stitching thing. We did that. Did we mention it on the video? I don't remember. Okay. Anyway, we did a little Halloween event where people stitched on those craft pumpkins, like the one you see there, <laughs> my there. Pamela's head. Um, <laughs> and that went pretty well. Mm-hmm. And so it we're going to fun. do another one to make embroidery hoop ornaments in November. It'll be November 20th, also 68 p.m., because that's just an easier time for most people mm -hmm. that we figured. Um, so we're going to do that. I will have an example on the um, our social media soon. Um, I just need to find a few things to, to put them together. But it'll just be kind of however you want to make them with the materials we're bringing. Or if you really feel like it, you can bring your own stuff. But we're going to have some like doilies. We're going to have some little we'll like, probably do, like some felt holiday paper. And holiday papers and all kinds of things that you can use to sort of do like a mixed media yeah. little ornament. Yeah. Um, so again, it'll be like the other one, the information is already online. You can actually go to our website and our Facebook or our Facebook page, um, for more information on how to sign up. Uh, yep. So, and we always serve like a little bit of like some snacks and some drinks mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. So there's some food. It's not going to be like, you know, full dinner or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. Just some like a cheese tray. Or yeah. Something like, like that. cheese tray, some cookies some wine something to tide you over <laughs> um that's yeah, that's about that's about it, it. new stuff we've some we've sorted some stuff around or shifted some stuff around in here trying to get a little bit more tidy um we added some more halloween decorations to the window because we are going to have downtown trick-or-treat on halloween mm -hmm. um if you're in corvallis it goes one to five and people bring their kids around to different businesses that have sign in the window it's specific sign that says trick-or-treat here i believe yeah it's orange and black sign that you get from the downtown um council yeah. yeah and you stop in there and people are handing out treats we will also be handing out some coupons so feel free to stop by <laughs> yep stop by and you can save some money on a yeah. pattern or something later yeah um but it's always fun we usually we used to go with my nieces and nephew now that i have a kid we talked we took her last year and walked around downtown with her um so we're gonna do that again this year mm -hmm. but it's fun to watch all the kids run around in their costumes and stuff yeah. like that and uh yep we'll be doing that we'll be in costume too because yep. Why not? <laughs> yeah, because it's Halloween. Because it's Halloween. Come on, guys. I'm dressing as Joyce from Stranger Things, and I'm going to have some like Christmas lights to hang on to and just look vaguely stressed out. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to be. Mm, narrowed down her. My daughter now. is going to be a porg. You know, the little puffin creatures from Star Wars will like stick a picture of a porg in here. <laughs> and uh, I ordered a Ray costume, but it hasn't gotten here yet, so we'll see how it fits. If it fits, I'll be Ray. If it doesn't, then I'll be, I don't know, like a witch or a Wednesday Adams or something like that. Yeah, you like do have that. Wednesday Adams dress. I do have a Wednesday Adams dress. So, yep, we're going to dress up. We're going to dress up, though. Because, yeah. I mean, what other opportunity do you have yeah. to play dress up as an adult? Well, you don't really um, get kids in your neighborhood to hand out yeah, candy to because it's really a, on a hill. And so right, our section of the street, people are like, no, <laughs> I'm not going to exercise to go get some candy. But we got like three kids or something one year. They just suddenly decided to trek up to our house. I'm like, um, okay, here's a extra bag of Reese's that I happen <laughs> to the have. Uh -oh. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so we'll be doing the trick-or-treating. Looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, we're also uh, going to start carrying, I think we're going to start carrying some of Catherine's cards. For the holidays mm -hmm. and we have some jewelry that we make and some um i'm gonna bring in some scarves and things that i crochet so mm -hmm. if you're looking for gifts we're gonna sell more than just patterns in here so we've got some um jewelry and uh scissor fobs in here already you may have seen if you've been in here um so just keep an eye out for that mm -hmm. and we're only gonna sell them in the store we're not gonna sell them online i don't think um i might or maybe the in the future online but yeah not right now right yeah, now for the moment patterns. it's just gonna be in store only so if you're interested come on in or drop by we can send you photos of it i guess <laughs> <laughs> yep um and yeah. then our current projects yep. my halloween house from uh waxing moon designs waning waxing waxing sorry waxing. i had a, had a brain fart all of a sudden it's <laughs> waxing moon designs so you can see is finally coming along i've started on the house very excited about that um had a little bit of a screw up and then I realized that this tree is one stitch shorter than this tree, but that's okay. No one's I'm gonna not know. gonna frog it. 
it's just a little bit of character that I've added to my pattern. <laughs> I finished Plum Street Sampler School, but I need to um, press out some of the wrinkles and then maybe stick it in a frame and hang it up here because mm -hmm. we do still have the pattern here. Um, I think we only have the one pattern left. Interestingly enough, the, the little demon squirrel motif on mm -hmm. that one is used on a uh, bowl full of scaries. Or yeah, scaries too. Scary too. Yeah, from both full of scaries. It's similar Plum design, and there's a few like the little vines that are around it are kind of similar, but then there's a few different things. It's like, yep, hmm. Yep, and uh, we should be getting in all the new Plum Street sampler stuff soon. We just got the email with all of her new designs in it. So yeah, we should also be getting the reprint Prairie Schoolers that Hoffman just put out. There, I think they're two Christmas patterns that yeah. they just reprinted. Um, the names escape me at the moment. I will look them up and put them down below. Yep, and um, so we should if you're be getting those in. in those. Unfortunately, those are the ones that are printed on regular paper instead of the cardstock. So yeah, sorry. The reprints are always going to be on um, like the printer paper and not the cardstock. Um, anyway, my whip is one I picked back up is the Satsuma Street Pretty Little Los Angeles. And this is my new needle minder. It's super cute. I got it from Mad for Minders, and it's the um, Charlie Brown Halloween thing on a little TV because that's my one of my favorite. Halloween, Halloween movies, which I need to watch soon because yeah. I haven't watched any Halloween movies. But yeah, so that's about it for us. Mm -hmm. um, looking forward to getting new stuff in. We did get in a yeah. whole bunch of new Ada cloth. Yes. Um, so if you are in the market and need some Ada for a project, we've got uh, 14, 16, and 18 counts in some different colors, some oatmeal, like the Rustico oatmeals mm -hmm. and stuff like that. We're so. also looking into maybe getting Picture This Plus. Is that what you... Well, maybe picture this plus and possibly um, fabrics by Stephanie because one of our customers requested one. Yeah, so we're going to look into carrying that. Because we really like their stuff. The it's very pretty. It's really cool. And so we'd like to get some more of that in, just yeah. in the store. Um, I got my hair cut. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it feels a lot lighter. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I don't know, I need a nap. <laughs> it was her birthday this week. Yeah, it was my birthday this week entering my last year of my 30s so <laughs> my birthday's in November so but I'm still in my early 30s yeah don't really feel all that different but <laughs> whatever yeah I'm slightly more sore every year <laughs> yeah I know like my back hurts more when I get out of bed but that's about it <laughs> but it's uh, fine yeah, so that's, that's about it. That's about it for us. Um, we will see you next week. Be sure you follow us on social media mm -hmm. and like and comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. Yes. Down here. And see you later. See ya.